Bronx Works was founded as the Citizens Advice Bureau, or CAB, in 1972. There was a movement um, here in New York City, as well as in other parts of the country, to empower people who were public assistance participants. It was also a time of welfare rights where people on public assistance were demanding there were rallies and marches uh, around welfare rights. When we started, there wasn't much around. There weren't many other agencies where people would line up before nine, before the office was open to get help. And people came in with housing problems and entitlement benefit problems. But a lot of it was trying to solve, figure out what the problem was and solve it. So we had tools that people could never, you know, have access to without us. And we got good at it. I started here in September of 1986 you know, before the vast majority of our employees were even born. The Bronx was just an area that the city had ignored for years and years and years. There were a lot of people on the, on the street. There were well-established shanty towns and encampments. I remember in the late 1980s when there was a lot of fear around AIDS and HIV. And what we were able to do is help a number of people move into their own apartments. Before we started doing outreach in the Bronx, nobody else had. We estimated that there were 550 people on the street. Now, at any given time, we're around 100 people on the street. When I came into uh, Citizens Advice Bureau, we were in just a few offices on the Grand Concourse. I remember tremendous growth in the 1990s. Um, uh, specifically around benefits, around community programming. And then, of course, we got into youth programming. That was later on, once we took over the Girls Club uh, of New York building. We really run the gamut in, in youth services, and we've expanded um, in many other areas. I'm very proud that the agency um, has been able to work with all populations here, including new immigrants, old immigrants, and people who have lived here for many, uh, many years. I started at the tail end of 1995. We had probably about 12 different locations and we already have been operating our senior centers. Adding the children and youth programming to our portfolio back in the mid 90s um, really allowed us to work with the family as a whole unit. For workforce development, for us to be able to really meet the needs of the family, we have to help with job training, job placement, and allow, hopefully, for livable, sustainable wages for the household overall. Our early efforts around workforce development are directly tied to what was happening in terms of welfare reform. And it's really difficult in New York City when you get an apartment and the rent is phenomenal, it's not fair, that people have to struggle to live here. Once you get Bronx Works, you don't just get one program, you get a multitude of programs. We've expanded so much throughout the years, and we have our hands in everything social services, which makes us very unique. Bronx Works has been able to expand over the last several decades, and it's, but it's really been organic growth in our walk-in information and referral locations, which are really embedded in the communities that they serve. We've been able to see the changes as they're happening within the communities and also speak directly to residents who are living in these very communities. We've been able to um, really have a finger on the pulse of what's happening in the, in the neighborhoods. I think that there's something um, really important about being able to reach out and help people who have the least. I think ultimately those are the most needy pe people and when you can figure out how, how to help them, it really helps communities, neighborhoods, you know, and, and everybody else. Bronx Works, I think, has always positioned itself to be an advocate for those that nobody else chooses to advocate for. The Bronx is still rising. It's still a good place to be. There's a lot of good people here and I think we want to be part of that growth. When someone gives money to programs like ours, you're helping to shape the future of not just that individual but the community. You don't know how that person will turn around 
and benefit the community. Many people in higher level positions grew up in this community, and I am one of those individuals. I think there's still you know, tremendous need in the Bronx, and I'm glad Bronx Works is continuing to step up to, to meet those needs. I'm very proud of, of Bronx Works. I'm proud of the work that happened when I was here, but it's amazing what's also, you know, what's happened since I left. Bronx Works helps individuals and families improve their economic and social well-being. From toddlers to seniors, we feed, shelter, teach, and support our neighbors to build a stronger community. In the 50-year history of Bronx Works, we have seen that communities grow strongest when people support one another. If you're interested in, in supporting those who are homeless, if you're interested in those who are young or the elderly, interested in, in helping a new mom find employment, you know, we do all those things and, and I, think, I think we're the organization that people turn to in the Bronx.